Tell, tell me, you've been blind since what age? Not, not permanently. Well, I was, uh, I started, always, right? I, I started to work on it. I was about five years old when I, uh, I started to lose my sight and, and uh, I finished the job when I was maybe seven. Yeah. So you can remember images. Oh yeah, colors. And, we, we're, uh, oh yeah, sure. Things look like. Yeah, I, I remember the standard things, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, green, brown, yellow, white, black, things like that. But mm -hmm. the, these new colors they got, you know, like, uh, Electric pink and, and uh, sharp fruit. I don't know what the devil that looks like. You're not, you know? <laughs> you're not missing that much. No, really, really okay. Then. Thanks. I'm electric pink for example. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny, you know, I, I was thinking. Yeah, can we talk about blindness for a bit? You can talk bit? about anything you want, show, show, you know that. Oh, true. <laughs> Most of the time. Um, <laughs> I've been told that some blind people who could have their sight restored have refused because they have spent most of a lifetime adjusting to it mm -hmm. and uh, that it would just completely disorient them to have it restored suddenly yeah. they'd have to learn all new habits and they have right. actually, uh, can, can you sympathize with that? If I could wave a wand yeah. and say you will see, w would you accept uh, that? I option? probably, uh, w well let's put it this way. Uh, if you were if you were to say to me, look I can wave a wand and, and you, can see, you can see right now, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's got to be a forever thing. I, I might turn it down. Uh, if you were to say to me, well, I can wave it and you can see for maybe a day, I might accept that. Only because there, there, there are a couple of things that maybe I would like to see once, you know, or, you know, just so that I really would know for well, what's really happening really? that I haven't seen. Yeah, because, you know, I, as I said, you know, that I've seen the stars and the moon and the sun, and, and I remember my mother. And, and uh, so I, I think basically I, I would pr probably like to see, uh, uh, you know, j just just for once, because I see them anyway all the time, like, you know, like my kids, for instance, you know, yeah. just for, you know, just to physically see them. But actually, uh, I, I'm not all that hung up about seeing things, because I do everything I want to do. I go everywhere. I want to go, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and with some of the news I hear about today, you know, I mean, there are some things I just absolutely don't want to see, man, I really, mm -hmm. I, and I feel sorry for you guys who have to put up with it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you said your kids. What else would be on that list of uh, things you'd really like to get one look at? Well, uh, it's really not that much. I, I, I think... Um, uh, 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 maybe uh, uh, some of the, you know, the, the artwork or paintings, you know, ah, uh, that yeah. uh, people, but I don't have any special thing, you know, the, uh, outside of the, just a, I think one day, if I could see for one day, it, it would really cool me out because I could. So if I say, and I was thinking about this today, uh, we all have a, a, a visual image of somebody, people who are sighted. Um, mm -hmm. If I say Raquel Welch or Lyndon Johnson or yeah. Hubert Humphrey yeah. or. Yeah. Or Phyllis Diller. Uh, most right. people think of a, a face. What do you think of a sound? Uh, what they sound uh, like to you? Yeah, uh, I guess I'm, I'm kind of like too? I'm kind of like old radio. If you can imagine, you know the characters they used to have on old radio, and, right. and you would hear these people, and you always imagined what they basically look like. You know, because the sounds can't fool you, though. You know, you can uh, hear yeah. someone who has a baby voice, and they're huge. You know, on the other hand, there is somebody who has a very deep voice. Yeah. You know, heavy. And then a little bit of cats, man, you know. No. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't. I hear you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How do you picture me? No, I, I well, actually, uh, I think that... Um, Speak it, right up here where I am. You don't mind. <laughs> Well, you know, I, 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 I basically pit, pitch you. I, I, I think my, my first, the, the first time I, I, I heard you, I thought uh, then that you might, uh, might be a, a gentleman, you know, of a medium bill, like 170 or 65 pounds or something Incredibly like that. Incredibly accurate. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you say that, that must, that I'm, I, I'm, I guess I'm describing you wrong. So. I'm, I'm supposed to watch you. You're not supposed to watch me. Well, I, I watch you, and I know I can just hear the people thinking, how can he see that? 
How can he know what you He can't see this show. Oh, but you'd be surprised, you know. It's a great thing when you can sit back and you listen to the people on the, on the television shows. Because I, I know that uh, uh, a lot of times pictures are good, but, but the great thing is when you can imagine the various guests that you have on and the mm -hmm. expressions on their face when you say certain things to them, you know. And, and, and you can know the, sometimes the, the little shock value. All these things are in my head as I, as I watch your 